Hello everyone, welcome to session 9 of LTech 654 Programming Games and Simulations. In this week's short overview video, I want to start out by congratulating you on submitting your design documents for game production project 1. It's obvious your creative juices are flowing and we have all kinds of proposed postmodern lemonade stands. We have one group selling vaccines to prevent a zombie apocalypse. We have another group selling masubis in support of Wahine Sports. We have a competing group selling masubis in an unsanctioned student-run business at school. We have yet another group producing videos for YouTube while striving for a healthy work-life balance. And yet another group is selling tropical smoothies on the beach in Waikiki. All in all, these are all excellent ideas, and I can't wait to see them come to fr fruition. Now, for this week, you're going to focus on the second deliverable for Game Production Project 1, which is to submit Project Update number 1. And essentially, all that is is a brief summary. You need to let me know the dates and times that your group has met, and you need to provide an overview of the group's successes and challenges when it comes to designing and developing your game. Now, this overview doesn't have to be very long, maybe two or three paragraphs at most. And this document should be submitted by the project manager on behalf of the entire team. And you will submit that assignment to the Game Production Project 1 assignment in Canvas just like you did with the design documents. Now, in terms of content for this week, I'm keeping it very simple, and all I'm providing are two new tutorials. The first tutorial is focused on organizing nodes with containers, and as you will see in the tutorial, it introduces the horizontal box container and the vertical box container. The second tutorial focuses on accepting keyboard input, and it's going to introduce a new node called the Line Edit node. And this is a node that we can use in Godot to accept keyboard input from the user. In the example tutorial, you'll see how to capture the user's name, for example, store that name in a global variable, and present that information back to the user via the user interface. And finally, I want to close out by focusing on next week, which will be session 10. It's important to know that I'm going to be away at a conference, and so there will be no new content released during session 10. I invite all of you to continue working on your projects during that time. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out via email, and I'll respond as quickly as I can. The next session and overview video will be posted on November 1st, which will be session 11 of LTech 654. Okay, everyone, have fun working on those game production projects. That's all the time we have for today. Have a great week, and I'll see you in Canvas.